Hey you guys, thanks for coming to check out today's video. This video is a feed in braid style as well as a quick weave and an invisible ponytail. So let's get started. Alright you guys, so we're starting off with my hair. Um, I just took some braids out and didn't have a chance to wash my hair so don't come for me y'all. I did wash it right after I finished this style. So you're going to split your hair into two parts, one in the front and one in the back. You're going to put it in a rubber band and then you're going to create your leave out which is just another small section right in front of the part. You're going to put that into a separate ponytail as well because you're going to use that for your leave out. And um, the next thing you're going to do is grab a satin cap, a spandex cap. This is to protect your own natural hair against the glue. You can use the liquid um, cap method for this, but it was just faster to use a spandex cap. You're going to sew that down to your braids. Then you have a lot of excess cap left over, so you're going to want to just cut that and then stitch that hole closed. And that's what your cap should look like once it's braided onto your braids. Next is the quick weave. So the hair I'm using today is Pudding Hair. It's their Water Wave in four bundles. I did use all four bundles. I used two bundles in the back and two bundles on the ponytail. The hair is really thick and really full. I really, really like this hair, you guys. It's really good quality. So you're going to go ahead and cut your tracks in the back. You're going to use whatever um, weave glue you like. I like to use 30 second brand glue. And you're just going to glue it down to wherever the spandex cap is. Be careful not to get it on your own hair. Um, but yeah, lay the tracks as close together as possible because you really want the back to be really, really nice and full. So I squeezed two full bundles of hair back there, which was really didn't have that much space to do it. But... I worked it out. So that part is done. You can go ahead and take out your leave out section, blend it in a little bit, um, and then go ahead and put that away in a rubber band as well so you can work on the braids in the front. So go ahead and take that front section out, put a part down the center, and then do another part because that is going to be your first small braid. Rubber band the other section of hair away. And then you're going to get started on your small feed in braid in the front. So you're going to start braiding as normal on a cornrow. And then you're going to start to feed in small sections of your braiding hair. The braiding hair I'm using is by Outre. It's their Ultra Soft Yaki Braid, and you can find this at samsbeauty.com. The link will be in the information bar below. And you're just going to continue to feed in small pieces into that braid. I only feed in three small pieces because I didn't want that braid to get too, too thick. And then you're just going to go ahead and braid all the way down to the end of your own hair and then you can stop. Then you're going to go ahead and separate out your baby hairs. If you want to, you can always skip that step. Detangle that section of hair and then you're going to get another section of braid hair. You're going to split it into four sections. The first section is the smallest and then they should get thicker from there. I used a little bit of hot six oil to hydrate my hair and then I used Evan 24 hour hold edge control. It's my favorite edge control at the moment. And just use a nice bristle brush to smooth all that out. You're going to go ahead and separate your first section of the braid which is going to be your own natural hair and you're going to start braiding back. Then you're going to start feeding in those sections of braiding hair from smallest section to the thickest section. 
If you're not sure how to do feed-in braids, I can do a tutorial specifically on feed-in braids. But there are so many out here on YouTube that I just didn't know if you guys would want to see that or not. If you are interested in a feed-in braid tutorial, please definitely comment that down below and I will provide that for you guys. No problem. So again, you're going to braid that section all the way down to the end of your own hair and go ahead and stop. Once you're done with that braid, you're going to rubber band that braid and the other small braid in a rubber band together and do the other side. Once you're done with that, rubber band those two braids together. <clears throat> and then you're going to put all the braids in one rubber band together. Then you're going to make sure that you have a rubber band at the end of that section. I went ahead and started working on my baby hairs. Again, I used the ebb and edge control for this section as well. And then on top of the ebb and edge control for extra hold, I used got to be glued just to make sure that it would stay in place as it dried. Again, this was for a special event, so I did do my baby hair. It's very dramatic. I don't normally do them that dramatic, but I just felt like doing it that day. <laughs> so you're going to grab a bobby pin, and you're going to grab your tracks. You're going to go ahead and bobby pin your bundle to that ponytail, to that braid. Um, you're going to go ahead and wrap that bundle of hair around both of the braids. Well, not both, all four of the braids. You're going to wrap it around all of those braids. So those braids will be the base for your invisible ponytail. And you'll just continue wrapping the bundles around the ponytail, securing it with a bobby pin as you need to, you know, just to make sure that it doesn't come loose. So then you're just going to take one piece of the track and wrap it around the ponytail to secure all those tracks to the braids. Then you're going to go ahead and start to fluff out the hair. I realized the ponytail wouldn't stand up by itself so I needed something to give the ponytail some height. So I went ahead and grabbed the remainder of the braiding hair and braided that into one large braid. Bobby pinned that to the base of the ponytail and went ahead and wrapped that around the ponytail. Now, there was a lot of hair on that invisible ponytail, so I had to ask somebody to help me hold it up while I wrapped it around. So you might need help for this part. <laughs> then you're going to go ahead and grab a bobby pin to secure that braid on around the ponytail. And this braid really helped the ponytail to stand up and um, like I wanted it to. So this was really a necessity to make the look that I was trying to go for. So then I just went ahead and teased the ponytail and, you know, just blended my own natural hair and the quick weave together. I added some hair jewelry onto it and I think that was really the finishing touch that I really needed. Um, unfortunately, my camera did die, you guys, and I'm so sorry. I wasn't able to do my normal slow-mos. I'm sorry. But I do have some pictures, so I'll go ahead and insert those at the end. Thanks for watching, you guys, and make sure you subscribe. See you in the next one.